Welcome everyone to the Tomate TV podcast. Gunther Vinson, Director of Marketing here for Tomate. How you doing today? I'm excited to have Chris Anderson, Vice President of Tomate with me here. And uh, we're just kind of uh, introducing our podcast today. Uh, gonna explain a little bit what we're doing, um, kind of uh, what we're gonna do with the podcast. News, product news, meet our employees sort of stuff. Yeah, so uh, welcome everyone. This again is the first episode of Tomate TV. And so this will be your source for new product releases, kind of get to know, get a, a deeper look at the products as we, uh, as we release them and get ready to release them. Uh, some that will still be in developmental stages, others that are on the market already, and others that are just arriving to the market. And uh, as Gunther was saying here, certainly over time we plan to uh, give you guys a, a look at our at some of our staff too, so you can meet them, put a face to the name with the people that you talk to on a regular basis on the phone, um, and uh, just kind of keep up with the happenings with Tomate as well as other industry news as it occurs. So uh, right now, you know, things have been kind of crazy. Everybody's been in quarantine, so we figure, you know, what are we going to do with all this free time? Well, uh, this is what you get. So we're, we're coming to you now to, to give you this closer look. And over time, you'll see things kind of evolve and get a little more polished up. But today we're here to talk to you about one of our latest products, the MO Pro. And so uh, as you see here, you've got this self-contained unit. Uh, this is what we call the Move Over Pro. Uh, and that's exactly what it's intended to do. You've got four functions on this thing. Um, we'll go ahead and fire it up. So first is an LED flare. It's kind of in the color of, uh, of uh, a standard road flare. Um, and uh, just meant to uh, get the attention of motorists. You'll never have to use a chemical flare again. Um, but then you've also got uh, an amber white strobe for uh, just another emergency lighting application. Then you've got a red and blue strobe and so you know in some areas where you are not um, allowed to run red and blue most areas you know on the vehicle itself this is not actually considered vehicle lighting since it is not fastened to the vehicle this is actually a magnetic unit you've got a 105 pound pole magnet there so uh, you can slap that thing onto any magnetic surface um, or it's also just freestanding on its own. So you can put that out in advance of the work site and get traffic moving over perhaps a little more effectively than just the lighting on the truck. We'll kind of delve into that here a little further in a few moments. Uh, but then you've also got a, uh, an area light, uh, just a straight work light uh, that's over a thousand lumens of, of, uh, of area light, work light. So, you know, be it uh, just getting tools out of your toolbox or pulling a drive shaft under a casualty. Uh, this is a very versatile unit that can give you, you know, everything from warning lights to uh, area illumination. So Chris, what kind of battery system do we have on this? Yeah, so this is, uh, it's a fully rechargeable unit, self-contained. Uh, it comes currently with a wall charger for 110. Uh, eventually, we will be looking at a uh, including a DC 12 volt DC charger with it as well. But it's got lithium batteries inside, and so you get really a lot more runtime than um, than a lot of these you know portable flares that are out there. That you know, first off, aren't even half as bright as this thing. This is definitely the most industrial uh, designed. Um, you know. Uh, tough as nails design that's going to stand up to the rigors of everyday use. This is made for the professional, which is also why, you know, Pro is part of the part number, the MO Pro, the Move Over Pro. This is for working professionals, but also just for people that want to have a little bit of a safety, you know, with them, you know, be it uh, uh, your, your child that's got their first car or your wife or anyone you care about, you know, have them keeping this thing in the trunk in case they find themselves stranded on the roadside is a good idea too because it really grabs the attention of passing motorists and uh, gives them an indication that you're on the side of the road. Uh, but with the lithium battery system, the thing can run up to 16 hours on a single charge while it's continuously strobing, giving you that, that warning light. Uh, and again, alerting motorists to your presence. Definitely useful for an emergency beacon. 
Absolutely, absolutely, and that's the other thing. You know, since it is magnetic, obviously with the um, with the red and blue setting, you're not going to want to use it under uh, you know while while in motion unless your state approves it. I know places like Missouri uh, uh, tow operators are are allowed to use the the red and blue, um, but otherwise, um, you know, this is a case where. Uh, you know, you set it to the amber white if you want to use it on, say, a snowplow or, um, you know, a, a piece of farm equipment or uh, just your tow truck in general. Um, you just slap that on there and turn that setting on. And so it can be used as a beacon for the vehicle as well, um, you know, as long as it's on the appropriate setting. So you really get a lot of a lot of bang for the buck with this. Um, and, and the system also includes a hard shell carrying case to keep everything nice and organized when it's not in use. Awesome. Okay, well, we have a video here prepared to uh, talk about a little bit more. So um, here we go. Okay, so that's the MO Pro. It's available now. Uh, we've actually have quite a few of these out on the road now, and people are absolutely loving them. We're getting a lot of really good response about them. Uh, what are some things you've heard about them? Uh, well, you know that that's uh, that's one of the things that with such a new product, you know, we've had a previous version of this where it had a handle. Um, it didn't have all the same settings and some of the feedback in the field because that's how we drive our product development is from feedback from you the tow operators that are out there every day um, you know the people that are actually using this equipment and you know what we found is hey there's enough flashlights out there where you know we don't need to have the top mount led on it anymore um, this it's a little bulky to be used as just a flashlight let's make this thing more a portable lighting system that can be used for multiple applications uh, such as the warning light uh, with different settings for that and then a work light an area light where it's rechargeable magnetically mounted or just standalone and so that's how we've come up with this so um, initial feedback that we've gotten from uh, many of the local PD actually have been using this the police departments here uh, I think we've got about close to 20 of them with our local department and nice. the feedback we've gotten from them has been really good um, and, and the few towers that have uh, have had kind of early access to it as well have given us great feedback um, back to you know the red and blue setting um, you know getting traffic to move over we all know amber uh, hey, it lets them know you're there if they're paying attention, but oftentimes they're just not. Uh, and the red and blue is what get, gets people's attention, you know, you see, be it uh, in their rear view mirror or, you know, ahead of them on the roadside. We know that red and blue, uh, statistically speaking, it just shows that um, people move over for it. And so we've got another product that we had previously developed um, that, uh, that was called the MO9. And it, it had uh, uh, red, white, and blue, and it's still available too. It was kind of a rechargeable light bar pod. Um, but, you know, there are videos of guys using that where it's deployed in advance of the work site and, um, the, and traffic just moves over, you know, like clockwork. And, um, you know, since it is not fastened to the vehicle, it is not vehicle lighting. And so where uh, vehicle lighting may be 
regulated in your state to not allow the red and blue, if you set this thing out in advance of the work site and have it on the red and blue setting, you're increasing your safety on the site and it's getting traffic moving over and you're not using it in motion on the vehicle. It's kind of a little bit of a gray area. You know, you might want to check with your local uh, enforcement to see what their thoughts are on it, but it is shown to be highly effective. And yeah, let's kind of take a little closer look at the product again. I saw you took the the head, the, yeah. the the unit off the head here. Um, so what you've got, you've got um, you know your LED strobe head, which it's solid all the way through. It's a, a Lexan lens filled with a uh, with a clear acrylic, and um, I mean this thing is nearly indestructible. Um, you know, it's it's it uses um, like military grade uh, metal, and um, you know, in fact, there have been military applications for it. Gold plated contacts, um, but it just screws right onto this heavy mounting base. And um, again, this is built for uh, the everyday, you know, riggers it's with industry in mind. And so um, you've got your your master power switch. Then you have your ring here that is really nice because you twist it and it locks into place. So once it's locked into place, you know, you can jostle this thing around. You're not accidentally going to, you know, bump a button and change the pattern. You're set. Um, and, you know, you've got your multiple patterns again, your amber white, your standard red flare. And then, of course, the, the red and blue like we were talking about and your area light. And it just clicks and locks in. You know you're good to go. It's really uh, impressive to see the red and blue in action on those videos you were talking about because, man, does that garner the attention of those distracted drivers. Right. And, and the, the cool thing is it's not even something that, you know, is an unsolicited thing. The, these are just everyday tow operators that posted videos of the products in use. And, and you can just see real world, real life, not, um, you know, nothing that we asked them to do, but they, they posted these videos up on social media and on YouTube, and you can just see the, the, the cars moving over. So, um, you know, we, we, at the end of the day, that's our goal is to uh, increase safety on the roadways and save lives. And with the, the MO Pro, I think uh, we're really moving in the right direction with uh, the way that emergency lighting can be applied now and into the future. Absolutely. Well, man, I think uh, we got a good first show kicked out here. Yep. I'm actually uh, pretty excited about it. Well, uh, one last thing I wanted to say is that, you know, as with most of the Tomate product lines and what, what's available on our website, uh, you'll find that, uh, you know, most of our products, the, all the products that we manufacture, uh, such as this, are manufactured in the United States, right in Rogers, Arkansas, and uh, carry our lifetime warranty on electronics and LEDs. So if ever an LED burns out or it fails to operate, you give us a call and you know we'll send a replacement for the defective component, uh, or you can send it in. We can take a look at it. But any failure on on the component side, on the electronics or LEDs, is going to be covered for life. Uh, the battery warranty on this is one year, uh, but you know with lithium you can get up to 10 years of use out of it, and uh, so it it makes for a very good unit. And your money, your investment is safe uh, with when you buy Tomate products. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for coming by and checking out the first show. Appreciate you coming by, Chris. Absolutely. And uh, next time we'll uh, have a new product and some new people for you to meet. Thanks Fantastic. a lot. Fantastic. Thank you.